So as much as we appreciate how pretty the Wraith Prism cooler is and how well it just works for a box cooler when it comes with the 3900X or even the 3800X, sometimes it can be a bit noisy and you want to upgrade it. So if you want to pu pull it out, there's been a lot of people who will pull straight up and pull the whole chip out. What we're going to do today is look at how AMD actually recommends you remove this cooler. Down in the description I'll leave a link to their guide if you want to look at their guide to see if uh, I'm doing this right or wrong. So this is the top view. You want to go ahead and unclip it, unlatch it, and this is the point where a lot of people will just take it and snatch. And a lot of times you can pull that out because it is a ZIF or a zero insertion force cooler or socket rather. So to get it out, just take this, twist it. Now this is the stock thermal paste in there. Ooh, I relatched and as soon as I can get this to unlatch. All right, got it unlatched and look at that. We have the cooler. That is the stock thermal compound. You can see it's a whole bunch of it on there and no chip is attached to it. So. This has been off for just a little while, so this is good to see. All right, guys, hopefully this helped you out, and make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you and the next one.